Uh, what's up, everybody? Yeah, just on with dance classes at Carmen's Cuban Cafe over in Mooresville. Yeah, so, you know, it's going to be awesome, though. Yeah, because I figure it's just better with, you know, making new friends there to hang out, get more people out for karaoke night and stuff. So, you know, I won't be, won't be the only two people to go in there. So, anyways, uh, I'm dressed up, as you can see, so that way I look presentable. Yeah, further ado. Yeah. So anyway, I did some stuff today with the LV Con, uh, the pillar moldings. I, I got rid of that Monsio duct tape because, uh, well, there's like all kinds of air bubbles and stuff, and it, it didn't look right. It just looked tacky, so I just decided to strip that off and then put off the adhesive from the duct tape residue. And then I uh, sanded it down and then put two coats of that uh, rubberized coating. Yeah, and it had like a rough texture to it, but it looks kind of rugged. So yeah, I like it. Yeah, so I haven't got a chance to do the wheels yet and box the truck, so I'll, I'll do that tomorrow at that time. So anyway, a couple people, people asked me questions about, you know, the car from the Cafe, asked if I was going to go to the area. I said, yes, it's in Mooresville. It's better than going to Ambies or some other uh, lighting night club that has over in North Raleigh. Well, it, I wouldn't even consider it North Raleigh. It's like right off of uh, Lank Avenue and New, Church, New Hope Church Road. Yeah, but it looks like a bad area. I mean, you, it's in a shopping center parking lot, strip mall type deal. Yeah, because right across from it, you got UPS, and then you got FedEx right next door to it. And then you got a tire shop over there. And then, let's see, there was a furniture store that used to do uh, deliveries at. Yeah, usually mattresses and then so reason why I said it's in the bad area because uh, right next door to it they have a, like an apartment complex and it'll kind of run down let's say the projects like I'm thinking they get there's ghetto anyway and I'm thinking that's probably why they have some strange characters walking in there because I, I heard all kinds of bad things about you know the nightclubs in that side you know that there's some guys you know don't even know how to dress what right for the occasion and then you know they like to go in groups and then harass uh, women there and stuff and uh, another thing, even if you're not a regular, and then you just ask some girl to, you know, go dance or whatever, and then if she said no, she want to get, you know, the boys after you, and then, you know, beat you up and shit. And I don't think that's ridiculous. And I got a friend of mine from Honduras. He said he said he used to go there a lot, but he said it's best just to go there on Wednesday nights because uh, there's a lot of single girls to go over there. But if you go there from Thursday all until Saturday night, then almost every girl there. You know, brought their boyfriend along to dance, and I think that's kind of ridiculous. Like, what are you going? Are you, what, why are you going to do that every week just to bring boyfriends there? And then when you go there, you know, there's not many single people there. I don't think that's just a waste of time. And the drinks are really expensive. Another Mexican guy I'm friends with, he said that, that the drinks are real high. That uh, I think he said a friend of his went in there, and I think he had a couple of beers where. And a couple of girls want a drink too, so they want to, you know, they got to buy him a drink. Of course, the buy the guy bought him a drink, thinking that he's gonna talk to her, maybe score. Well, she she ended up taking the drink and freaked off of it. I don't think that's just ridiculous. Yeah, so I wouldn't even, I wouldn't even, I wouldn't even recommend going to that place. Another place in downtown Raleigh would be Solas. Yeah, so there's uh, on Thursday nights they got uh, Thursdays. So there's a lot of Spanish girls hanging around there and stuff. So there's also the merengue. Yeah. And I'm, I'm half Latino anyway, so that's what I'm getting and all that. Just in case you guys didn't know. So, you know, I know a little bit of Spanish, but I could probably make it through there. And, through my in there. and I know some French too. Is there's some girls, you know, are learning to speak French. You know, I can use it. My school is in there. Yeah, boy, it looks like it's going the same way. Ugh, fucking manhole there. Yeah, they gotta fix that to make it flush. So I'm just gonna go into CB, Breaker 19, and see how the traffic looks. Uh, Breaker 19, Breaker 19. Uh, I'm approaching 440. I want to see how the traffic looks all the way to Mooresville. Come on back.
Burke 19. How's the roads look all the uh, westbound on the 40? Come on back. I haven't heard anything yet. I hope it's good to go. Because, you know, Vince starts at. Ugh, God damn it. This Vince starts at 7 o'clock. And I'm trying to make out what time is it anyway. construction going on. These roads are fucking terrible. Well, it's 6.30, so I should be able to get there within 15 minutes, hopefully. I get something to eat, and then I'll be close by. Yeah, because I haven't eaten dinner yet. Yeah. Break 1-9, break 1-9. I got him down big time on 440. Just want to know what the traffic looks like from here all the way to Mooresville. Come on back. Boy, nothing. I don't know what's going on though with it, but I'll let you know in another video how you know how everything went you know, on the dance classes. And you know, if I like it, I might come back. If I meet somebody there, I might hang out, whatever. But I'm gonna get some people to go there with me so they can just uh, at least film the, the footage of me dancing. Yeah. So th this is all for the vlog. That's all. I'll keep you guys updated. Later.